We're on the final week of January and the Cinnator is just around the corner with Pokemon Go coming up with another new event called Road to Sinnoh Event. It's not the first time that they did this type of event. I think they did it for the Hoenn Tour, the Road to Hoenn. So this is for the Road to Sinnoh, just to prepare people for the Sinnoh Tour. Pokemon Go has revealed a new event, Road to Sinnoh, which gives trainers a chance to prepare for the upcoming Go Tour event. <clears throat> since the legendary, I mean, since the beginning of 2024, Pokemon Go has been hyping up trainers for the Pokemon Go Tour Sinnoh event on February 24th. The latest announced event, Road to Sinnoh, has players catching the popular Gen 4 starters, Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, alongside a handful of new spawns, raid encounters, and paid research tickets. Here's everything we know about the event, including bonuses, dates, and times, and more. According to the Pokemon Go blog, the Road to Sinnoh event begins on Monday, February 19th, 2024 at 10 a.m. and ends on Friday, February 23rd, 2024 at 10 p.m. right before the tour starts. The day, the day before. Uh, here are the Pokemon that will appear more frequently in the wild during Road to Sinnoh. Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Grotto, Monferno, and pr uh, Primplup. <clears throat> Pokemon marked with a star may appear as shiny. Here are the Pokemon that will appear available in raid encounters during the event. Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Arm 1 star raids, Grotto, Manferno, Primplup, 3 star. Your 5 star raid is Darkrai, 5 star raid uh, Cresselia. <clears throat> so the 19th would be for Darkrai, 28th for Cresselia, and then you have the Lake Trio, Uxies, Mesprit, and Azazoff for uh, February 21st. On Friday, it's going to be Origin Form Garatina. Origin Form. If you don't have any of these shinies, guys, this is your time. You only have one day to get them. <clears throat> uh, I think the, the three... The Lake Trio part have will be there longer than the other ones. Here are the Pokemon that will hatch from 2k eggs during the event. Bidu, Chingling, Bonsly, Hypini, Munchlax, Riolu, and Mantite. Of course, the ones that are starred will have uh, will be shiny. They're, they're shiny. Here are the bonuses uh, during the event. Players will be able to enjoy the following bonuses. Have, uh, have egg hatch distance as long as they incubated during the event. Uh, daily remote raid pass limit will be increased to 10. No limit on remote raid paths from Friday, February 23rd to Sunday, February 25th. <clears throat> That's good. Those who rely on remote raids, there's no limit. Uh, the limits will break off. During the event... There will be three research requests, three research quests that uh, trainers can enjoy one free and two paid tickets. Channel theme time research will uh, give trainers the ability to earn encounters with Heatran, Origin Form, Garutina, Cresselia, and Darkrai. Uh, two paid uh, time research tickets will be available as well. Both will be available in the in-game shop for $5 a piece with a plethora of rewards like added bonuses and candy for some of the most popular Sinnoh Pokemon. And that is it, guys. Uh, that is it for that. That's all the information for the Road to Sinnoh. So if you have not gotten your ticket for the Sinnoh Tour, I'm not sure when they're going to go live. But... Um, this is a great way to prepare yourself for the Sinnoh Tour. Like I said, they, sh they they probably did this last year with the Road to Hoenn. And I think they probably did it for the Road to Johto. I'm not sure for Johto, but I'm thinking that they did this before. So, uh, those who buy the ticket, congratulations. Uh, you get the bonuses of having all the shinies and they're all boosted. 
and uh, not for this event, but for the Cinotaur. Don't don't come at me saying, "Oh, you told me this this event is gonna this road to Cino is gonna have boosted shiny odds." No, they're not. This one is not gonna have it. This tour will have it. Not this not this one. The two day event for the tour will have it. Um, if you're gonna spend money on that tour, guys, I suggest getting both uh, both days. Um, you can try one on, on during the day and then try one during midday, or hopefully they. Hopefully the the Cino, the Cino tour is for a full day. I think it's full day for Cino tour. The other stuff is for Go Fest. The the day the half days. But that's it for this video. Um, if you lasted this long, if you lasted towards the end of the video, make sure to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, share the video, and uh, if you have any thoughts, leave them in down in the comment section down below. What your thoughts about this uh, Road to Cino event? What's your thoughts about that? Um, not a not a great event, but the greater the the best event is after this event, which is the Cinnol Tour. The Cinnol Tour is supposed to be better than that, and it always has to be better than that. It's just leading up to it. It's a good thing for people that are not going to pay for the ticket to participate and enjoy the road to the Cinnol Tour. But that's it for this video. Hope you had a great time, guys. And uh, like I said. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Like I said, if you have any thoughts about this, uh, let us know down in the comment section down below. And I will see you on the next video. I will see you on the next video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.